A researcher at a clinic in Cleveland, Ohio, believes he has created the world's first preventative vaccine for breast cancer. My mom got diagnosed with triple negative breast cancer on my birthday, and it was my 10th birthday. It's been my life's work. Everything I know is put into this effort. The solution right now is really almost comical for what it does to women. It really is ridiculous. I had a lot of hope. What does this mean, triple negative breast cancer? I hadn't even heard about it before. You don't think you know anybody with breast cancer until you know somebody with breast cancer, and then all of a sudden you find out you know a lot of people. There's a woman diagnosed with breast cancer somewhere in the world every 20 seconds, and every minute another woman dies. Well, I can't read the minds of these pharmaceutical executives, but I've talked to many of them and they're not interested in, in what we're doing. When I was at Eli Lilly and Company, I don't remember having any discussions about preventative medicine. That's not what the pharmaceutical industries are in business to do. Traditional funding sources turned their backs on this. When I hear about someone with breast cancer, I don't say to them or anybody, Oh, they're doing so much. I heard that. I heard that. It's messed up that it, it all has to you know, revolve around money, that it can't just revolve around the people. I've studied Shakespeare, and I've studied the research on the breast cancer virus, and I've been on Capitol Hill now on several occasions, and I've seen Kentucky Fried Chicken buckets of, for the cure. For my wife. For my mom. And I've seen Planned Parenthood and Komen, and I've seen enough. Pink blankets and pink this and, you know, all this stuff when, you know, screw the pink. It's just uh, a travesty, it really is, because the treatment is so horrific. It doesn't matter what your politics are, breast cancer shouldn't be politicized at all. There are reasons that we're not getting there and those reasons make me sick. If there's a virus that causes breast cancer, we need to know that.